We've had a sensational performance by James Wade against Ronald Shelton, who was reeling in mass into the 180s. Wade did a 10 on to win the match. And now, Andy Hamilton has got a different script to that approved by the Taylor fans. Hammer time! Like it. What time is it? Well, long way to go yet, we'll see. But Andy the Hammer Hamilton is certainly capable of putting one or two nails in one or two coffins in this game of darts. That's right. Popular song in that Skylog Tobey's if I had a hammer, I'd hammer Phil Taylor. The hammer happily named and our stats proven why he is 102 average. 480s and the power's covered relatively bare at the moment. Yes, and uh, Taylor's early uh, doubles prowess at the end of the first session, three out of four. It has diminished somewhat since, five out of 12 now. Um, gave him that early advantage. But uh, Hamilton now firing really good darts hit at double top when he requires it. He's found the range on that. But uh, there's one of those 177s. I don't mean him. The 177 is rather prettier than the picture which followed it. But uh, another 177 to follow that 174 earlier. Taylor. <coughs> to restore parity. Two data coming in. As his option sometimes. Casey likes bull first. Two sixteens for six apiece. Fifty. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ham Hamilton knows now that this is the first time in this match where he has a chance to uh, maybe go two legs up and a break of throw to his advantage. Now, then, we've seen Taylor in a similar situation to this. He got the treble eighteen and. He wants the ball here, having got the single. 61. I misstarted a double, but Very hard luck. For six apiece, the power from the potteries. Once that red did, please. Get six! Well, it's got the makings of a classic miss. He had to come out of the traps with more than 100 average. Because Taylor's average tends to get better after five or six legs. Taylor hasn't exploded yet, but this bloke has. RC Hammer! Hammer, hammer, hammer! By Andy. And I'm sure Phil Taylor knew he was going to be in for a match. Uh, but if he didn't, Sid, the message is loud and clear now. Hamilton beaten by Taylor, 4-0 in sets. Uh, the score, in fairness, flattered Phil Taylor just a little, but even so, he was no, he was always second best in that contest, this man, but uh, he's a different man here tonight. It's hard for me to say, really, whether the what the nine dart finish will truly be on his mind. He's the sort of man. He's so pragmatic that he'll be thinking, just win the leg and go ahead again. But it's a nine dart finish if he can take out a hundred and forty-one. Oh yes, he'll come down for treble nineteen, double twelve, Sydney by double twelve for nine dart. Oh! Yeah, I missed by the thickness of a razor blade. Oh, unlucky son. Unlucky indeed, and of course it was on this very stage four years ago that Taylor himself earned a packet with such a performance. A nine dart finish that Hamilton so very nearly repeated. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
but he will not let it get in the way of the dull, dull business of winning the leg. Back to the office, double 12 to lovely marker. If he brushes the barrel, it's in. Lovely! Brush the barrel was in, and uh, it could have been a nine dart. The fact that it isn't won't matter. I feel one little bit to Andrew Hamilton. Q headbanging in the semi-final of the world match play. Hamilton out powering the power big time. 104.8 place 96.5. Hamilton on fire in Blackpool. Yes, just two breaks of throw in this wonderful contest. The fifth and the tenth legs. Firstly to Taylor, secondly to Hamilton. Therefore, throwing here against the throw. Trying to put daylight now between himself and Taylor. He has in terms of averages, but they mean absolutely nothing in terms of the score. But if Hamilton maintains this average, then... Taylor surely will begin to feel the pressure at some stage in the contest. Absolutely. And Taylor in the Premier Darts League after a couple averaged 106 against Lloyd, 108 versus Manley, and 107 again against Manley. I mean, he's doing what Taylor usually does to opponents here in Blackpool or anywhere in the world. Well, he's just picked off two treble 19s, uh, as Taylor did earlier in the contest when he scored 174, scoring 134 Hamilton. 135. And Taylor having to go with him, but doing so. I think you are at the Blackpool Literary Festival. The writing's going on here, John and them placards. Well, it could be writing on the wall if Hamilton hey, keeps. Sir. Not this sort of uh, tempo, wonderful scoring, although Taylor ought really to make it seven apiece. Trouble 14 is the next requisite. Double 16 for a belting one, three, four. 118. Almost a 12 dart finish for Taylor. And <laughs> seen it all, Tartan Vikings, <laughs> seen it all. Second dart. 44. To leave 136. But it may be academic here. Taylor looking at double eight. And looking to put it just over the top of that one. A touch further in. Exactly, exactly. 